All right, so there's basically like a million chords out there, and I wanna show you just three chords. So the G, D, and A chords, which is G, D, and A, are my favorite chords to play because of a few specific reasons. Number one is they're really flexible chords. Number two, they're all in the same place on the neck. And number three, they're really easy to play. So chord shapes and chord structures are designed around your hand and the tuning on the guitar. This is designed to be the easiest to play and fastest to play. Um, I, I love power chords and, and triads and other things that we've covered in other lessons. But in this lesson today, I just wanna emphasize how fun these are to play and how repeatable they are. And you'll hear them in a lot of music. A lot of popular music uses these three chords, the G, D, and the A chords. And they're really common chords. Some people call them cowboy chords. I've never called them that before. They were just the first three chords I learned out of a chord book. And I'll put them up here on the screen so you can see them. But what I wanna emphasize here is that the shape and where to put your fingers and that sort of thing isn't as important as just knowing the muscle memory of how to play these chords. And what this opens up for you is how to memorize how to keep your hand in a certain position that's not the same position I've been teaching in other lessons. And in this lesson, what's really easy is once you know the chord shape by heart and your, your hand can just make the shape, you don't think as much when you're playing. You'll notice people will play and sing a lot of the times they're playing these chords on the guitar. So we'll start with the first chord, the G chord. And the G chord is gonna take all four of your fingers, so it's really the most robust chord of all these chords, but it's also the easiest to play with after the fact. Um, so the G chord starts on the first dot on the neck, so if you go up to the third fret, so one, two, three. This first dot, you're gonna take your middle finger and put it on this first dot here, okay? This is where you start the G chord. It's when every time you're gonna plant your hand on the guitar neck, just make sure you take your middle finger and put it right there on that big string, which is the sixth string, and the third fret, which is the first dot. So I'm gonna put that down. And then the easiest part is you're just playing the next string over with your pointer finger. So we're gonna play the big string right here. Then the pointer finger is gonna play the second fret, fifth string right here. So we just have this. Just playing together like that, super simple. Then we're gonna skip all the other strings and we're gonna take our pinky and ring finger and we're just gonna put them on the same first dot but on the two smallest strings, which is the first string and the second string. So take your fingers, just place them down there. You'll notice that my middle finger and my pinky and my ring are all on the same fret, which is the first dot right here, okay? So this is really awesome. So the only finger you have to really think about in this, if you're to break away all the fingers, is the pointer finger is just going down one fret into the next string. So if I put all my fingers down like this, middle, ring, and pinky, the pointer finger is the only one waiting to be put down last, and it has plenty of space to be put down right here next to it. And what we're gonna do is we wanna make sure we keep our hand open so that air can pass underneath it. And if you play with your hand really closed up and your elbow in close to your body, it's not gonna play the chord because you can't get your fingers around the chord. It's really hard, they're all flat. So what you need to do is you need to take your, your, your wrist, bend it, so you're taking your wrist and you're bending it like this, like a claw, and then you're taking your elbow and you're bringing your elbow towards, in your case, towards the camera, but towards the neck. So I'm gonna take my wrist, I'm gonna bend it, push my elbow in, and now I have a really comfortable playing position and I have these one, two, three, four fingers all playing on the chord. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play down all the way across the strings, just down, and you're gonna find that the sound is gonna come out very loud. That's because the strings that are open, which are these middle strings right here, they're not being played, they're just playing at the very end on the nut of the guitar. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna play it uh, soft, but try to keep the volume the same through all the strings. So watch as I play through really slow here. So that's easier said than done. Obviously, you've never done it before. It's gonna be new and uncomfortable. And this chord position is not the most intuitive starting out, but if you break it down into your pinky, your ring finger, and your middle finger, and then put your pointer finger down one fret, you have the G chord. So the G chord is not hard to play. It just takes time to get comfortable with it. Just remember the first fret, Middle finger, pointer finger, ring, and pinky, all down here, and then just play through. And what's really nice about this chord is it's really forgiving, so you can kind of play just the lower part, just the higher part. 
So if I strum across the neck like the strings like this, I'm getting that cowboy chord, which is just up, down, or down, up. If I want to get nuanced with it, I can play just the lower strings and then just the higher strings, like focus here, and then focus here. So check this out. So you can see how flexible that chord is, and it covers so much of the neck, literally every single string, you can get away with a lot by doing very little. All right, so for the D chord, which is the next chord I want to show you, it's really important to know that the G chord covers every single string. The D chord is more delicate. It focuses only on these upper strings up here. So we need to be careful when we're playing the D chord to not get in this muddy mess down here with this big sixth string and fifth string. So to play the D chord, just simply take your left hand and Start on your middle finger, once again, here, on the second fret, first string. Point your finger on the third string, second fret. And then your middle finger, your ring finger, on this middle string here, on the third fret, second string. And that makes a triangle. So if you look at the shape here, I'm drawing really a here to here, these three points. I'm drawing a triangle. So think of a triangle when you're playing this. And if you put two fingers down initially, your pointer and your middle finger, like that, on the second fret, most of the chord is played. You just need to take your ring finger and push down the middle, which creates the top of the triangle. The way I'm looking at it is a triangle is right here. So there's the first, second, and third. There we go. And this chord asks, basically asks to play one string open, which is this one which is not pushed down by your fingers, which is the fourth string. And we're gonna play through all these four strings together. So let's play through it and you'll hear the D chord. That's the D chord. If you play lower, it starts sounding a little more augmented and then it gets noisy. So generally the four strings up here is where that chord's played. You'll hear people play this one a little more soft, like this. Kind of like that. So um, remember it's a triangle shape and the D chord's just the pointer finger, middle finger, and ring finger all together. Playing those four strings. And what's nice about the D chord is it's a really comfortable shape for your fingers and it doesn't require a lot of focus and attention once again. It's just three fingers, three, three, these three right here. And there's a little nuance you can do with it. Like you can take your pinky and you can add it as a half step from your middle finger. So you can go here and add your pinky down and it creates some fun, it's kind of a playful chord when you start doing that. That's a very popular thing to do. You'll hear it all over the place, but it's just the pinky dabbing on and off of the string. So here we go, let's try that. There's the pinky, you see it? If you keep going, you might start hearing the start of what sounds like a song you would know. I don't want to get copyright strikes. I don't know how strict YouTube is, but basically you can hear how easy it is to play with that chord. And it's a playful, light-hearted chord, and the D chord is known to be a very popular transition chord between two big chords. Um, the third chord I want to show you is the A chord. And I saved this one for last because in my opinion, the A chord is actually harder than it looks to play because of the area it's focusing on. Just like the D chord, the A chord requires you to focus on the area it's being played and then just the extra notes past it, which is the first string. Um, the A chord to me is kind of the, the ultimate chord to know for a bass on guitar. The G chord is very important, the D is very important. The A chord kind of indicates, hey, this person has been practicing chords. They know where that chord is. And the A chord all exists inside the second fret right here. So when we go down the second fret, we're using just three, these three fingers, pointer, middle, and ring finger. And we're gonna take our pointer finger and place it down on the fourth string right here. And then the third string, middle finger. And then your ring finger um, on the second string. All here on, the, on this fret. And you can see I'm just smashed in here. It's just all tight and hard to move around. And that's because I'm inside of one fret. And 
Generally with, with frets, you want to stay away from the metal. You don't want to be playing on the metal because it'll buzz. It'll make that buzz sound if you're playing on the metal. So what you try to do is you try to squeeze everything inside these two bars. And what I tend to do, and most people do this, is you'll go at, at an angle, a diagonal. You'll go across the fret to fit your fingers in. If you go straight across, your fingers are too fat to fit inside there. But if you go at a dia diagonal, you'll be able to fit them all in there. So I'm gonna put them not straight, but at an angle, so they're diagonal. And whenever you play down here, the A chord is gonna have you play more of the strings, but you don't hit the bottom string. You don't hit this big six string. You focus on these strings. So it's almost the whole guitar, but it's tricky because you have to focus your playing right here in that middle area. And those three strings are the safest ones to play. But this open string, it can be deceiving because you might not think you're hitting it and all of a sudden you're down here hitting the sixth string and it sounds bad. And here's what that sounds like. If you're playing it correctly, it's like this. Playing it wrong. It sounds bad. So generally speaking, the more you stay towards this direction, down, um, the safer you're gonna be. So a lot of people playing the A chord will dance with these high strings up here that are open strings, they're not touched by any of your fingers. With these two strings, the first and the second, well, the second's being played. Just the, just the first one that's not being played. Um, but if you play down here, that E string, which is the small number one string, is gonna play out loud all the time. And the, the challenge with this is, you don't wanna play too heavily into that E string because it can get really annoying. And here's an example of without and then with that E string. So here's without, played correctly. And here's whenever you add that E string and you're not controlling where you're hitting. So I'm just gonna hit it all the way through. It sounds a little bit amateurish. That's because the focus of the playing should be where the fingers are. And that's these three strings right here, right? So try to avoid going off too crazy and playing too loud. I tend to try to play these types of chords more soft. Um, but playing a guitar song with these three chords is super fun because it starts creating kind of that melodic structure of a lot of popular music. So once again, the G chord, the D chord, and the A chord. And what I tend to do with these chords when I was first learning is I would practice the transitions between the chords. And this is really the key to playing guitar smooth is being able to transition the shape of the hand to each chord. And you might be thinking, Dude, that's impossible, I can't move that fast. You don't have to move fast when, you, when you're practicing. Transition slowly. Start with the G. And then watch this. See how my fingers aren't coming off? Keeping them on, because I don't have to pull my whole hand off. A lot of people will, will play, and they'll pull the hand off the guitar, and they'll play the next one, and they'll play the next one. Your hand's already on the guitar, just leave the fingers down that aren't going to move. So if, as an example here, the G, I know that the ring finger is already where the D is. So all I, have to do is, all I have to move is just these two fingers over. So I'm gonna move them, I'm gonna hop over here like this, okay? And slowly this is how that looks. Now I'm gonna to go to the A. And this is where you have to be a little bit fast, so I'm gonna go G, D, and then A. So that's basically the three chords I would recommend you learn how to play. There's a ton of other chords you can learn, but those are more fancy chords, I call them, for like jazz or blues or um, funk, all those different types of music genres. But you can get away with a lot with these right here. These three frets right here can do a lot. And the guitar is actually tuned to play to the strength of these three frets right here. Everything else beyond is more just a repeat of what's already here. And the 12 notes in a scale, 
or the one string, all these are spread across these three frets right here. So you can play basically any, any chord you want, any note you want. The danger of staying in the chords is you start losing the freedom of building new chords up on the neck where you can do different things. So have fun with it. Keep practicing the chord shape and don't get discouraged. Go back and pause the video or look at a chord chart. They're very helpful if you're trying to figure out how to get your fingers placed right. But those transitions is what you're really trying to practice here is can you transition from chord to chord consistently. And once you get it down, it's really fun and it unlocks a whole new level of guitar playing. That's really fun. So keep playing and have a good time with this one.